Thank you for the introduction, Jim. Uh, again, my name is Andrew Donaldson. I work for a company called Danlaw. And today I'm going to talk about the traffic signal preemption application and the implementation of that application using the CV to X technologies and some of the benefits of doing so. First, a little bit about Danlaw's history. Uh, Danlaw is a 36 year old uh, automotive company. We've been a tier one supplier providing electronic modules and services to the automotive OEMs in the United States and other countries around the world. Uh, we also have a connected vehicle division. Um, we have about 5 million uh, little devices that plug into the OVD ports of your cars and using cellular technology, uh, brought, send back information about the driver and the vehicles to places like insurance companies and fleets. Uh, then in 2015, uh, we were selected by the United States Department of Transportation to develop industry uh, standards and certification against those standards for the connected vehicles. It was DSRC technology at the time. Um, and the idea was that all of the different manufacturers' devices should talk to each other. They should be interoperable. And we do that by um, defining which standards and the interpretation of those standards we would certify against. Then in 2018, Danlaw launched the product set uh, that now includes roadside units, uh, onboard units, antennas, and the in-vehicle displays that support the applications. Then in 2019, we partnered with Code3, that's a global leader in safety systems and emergency lighting systems. Uh, we created uh, the industry's first VTX enabled emergency vehicle lighting module, where we integrated the CV2X antennas into the lighting bar and the CV to X electronics uh, is installed seamlessly with the electronics that run the lights and sirens in the vehicle. Traffic signal preemption application. This is an application that allows the driver of an emergency vehicle to request that the traffic signals are green as they are arriving at the intersection and stay green as they transit safely through. Uh, this allows the driver to focus on um, moving as swiftly as possible through the intersection without having to worry about cross traffic uh, getting in the way. Uh, there's also opportunities to uh, inform the driver of other hazards that may be present in the intersection. I will show a video that demonstrates uh, how this application works and then I will talk through the video uh, explaining exactly how it works and the benefits that you get from doing it using the CV to X application um, as opposed to the more traditional uh, uh, technology such as infrared. The Danlaw V2X system is designed to improve safety on the road, reduce emergency response times, and save lives. The V2X network allows emergency response vehicles to request traffic light preemption by communicating with roadside equipment. This feature will temporarily stop all cross traffic so first responders can quickly maneuver through intersections that may otherwise be congested. The Danlaw V2X antenna is fully integrated within the Code 3 light bar and works alongside Danlaw's Autolink onboard unit, OBU, which is installed within the vehicle's emergency system. By simply switching on the vehicle's emergency lights and siren, the V2X system will communicate with roadside equipment to request traffic light preemption, providing first responders with 360-degree vehicle awareness and safety insight. The whole thing starts with the roadside unit broadcasting uh, a signal to anyone, uh, any equipped vehicle in the surrounding area that the preemption application is actually offered at this intersection. Uh, it also broadcasts the status of each of the traffic lights at the, at the roadside and a detailed digital map of the intersection. And this allows all of the connected vehicles around to create a digital picture of the intersection and associate the traffic signal data with each lane in the, in the intersection. The OBU receives this information from the roadside unit, and if the vehicle meets the conditions, such as the lights and sirens are on, and it is actually approaching an intersection, 
the vehicle OBU uh, requests, makes a, makes a request to the roadside unit for the preemption application to be granted. At all times, as you can see on the screen, there is a big display that tells the driver that the traffic signal preemption has been requested. And it actually also mirrors the traffic signal on the display and gives the driver an indication of exactly how many seconds there is before it changes. The RSU, first of all, uh, authenticates the message to make sure that the requester is auth authorized to make the preemption request. And if so, sends the request to the traffic controller that grants or, re or rejects that request. The most common reason for a request to be rejected is that there is already a preemption event underway from a different uh, emergency vehicle. The roadside unit then broadcasts the status of the request out. Uh, that information is received not only by the emergency vehicle making the request, but all the other connected vehicles in the surrounding area. Uh, the other vehicles also receive a direct notification from the emergency vehicle. This gives all other drivers in the area advance notice that something is happening and to be wary of an emergency vehicle. The OBU uh, on, the road, on the emergency vehicle receives the preemption request status and informs the driver that this has happened. The driver can also see um, from the traffic signal status uh, that the, green, the light will indeed be green when it reaches there. Uh, this gives the driver a lot of confidence just to move speedily through the intersection without worrying about crash hazards. Some of the advantages of doing uh, the preemption application as, um, using CV to X rather than uh, infrared or sound or other radio technologies. Um, what, the, first of all, we get a much longer range. We easily get 800 to 1,000 meter range. There's very few line of sight constraints. Uh, it works absolutely fine on a windy tree-lined avenue as it, as it does in a, a city block. Uh, the infrared systems uh, struggle with curves and perhaps tree branches in the way. We get, it's all standards based. It, in, it is inherently interoperable between manufacturers, um, which is not the case uh, if you have an infrared system. It will not work if you approach a, a different radio technology or one manufacturer to the other, for example. Most importantly, perhaps, is that it informs the driver of what is happening. The, the driver knows the timing of the upcoming signals. It knows of other emergency vehicles in the area. It also knows of other hazards, perhaps pedestrians moving within the intersection. So user benefits. Um, first and foremost, it gives the driver the confidence that they can safely th move through the intersection at a reasonable speed without the worry of other vehicles in the intersection. Uh, it does this um, by providing information on the status of the signals and of the application itself. It's also cost effective, uh, very little maintenance, there's no lenses to clean. Um, perhaps more importantly, the, it is not a single use technology. Uh, the CV to X technology, the investment is used for many other applications. It leverages the investment already being made by infrastructure owner operators around the country where there are already thousands of roadside units waiting for this application to be enabled. The system is also evolving. <clears throat> the benefits will expand considerably as more and more vehicles become connected and, uh, and the roadways uh, become instrumented. These applications can be delivered wirelessly uh, to the user without the need to, to go back to a dealer or to actually touch the unit at all. I mentioned earlier there were some other applications. This is a very short list of a multi uh, multitude of applications that can run on these devices. Uh, they're designed to make it safer, not only for the emergency vehicle driver and their passengers, but also for all the other users around. Bottom line, preemption saves lives. Danlaw has um, a live implementation of this application in Sterling Heights in Michigan. And one week after it was live, I received notification from the fire chief in Sterling Heights saying that they had used this, used the, made use of the technology and he arrived on scene in a very timely manner and he believes he was able to save the life of a patient, which was fantastic for us as a, um, you know, as a reinforcement of why we're doing this.